बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहमान Let's see some pictures of William Golding. Beside this picture, we see the house of William Golding. In this picture, we see the family of William Golding. William Golding with his wife Anne Brookfield, his one son, only one son. David Golding and his only little daughter, only one daughter, Judith Golding, and in front of that uh, picture we see a woman, this woman, that woman is that little girl, that is Judith Golding. Let's see the achievement of Sir William Gerald Golding. Sir William Gerald Golding. was a british novelist playwright and poet he is based on for his renowned novel lord of the flies which was published in 1954 and he would go on to publish another 11 novels in his lifetime in 1980 he was awarded the booker prize for rights of passages the first novel in what became his sea trilogy to the ends of the earth He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1983. As a result of his contributions to literature, Golding was knighted in 1988. He was a fellow of the Royal Society of Literature. In 2008, the Times ranked Golding third on their list of the 50 greatest British writers since 1945. William Golding married Anne Brookfield. who was an analytical chemist on 30 september 1939 they had two children one is the their son david born in 1940 and judith only daughter who was born july 1945 during the second world war golding joined the royal navy in 1940 he served in a destroyer which was briefly involved in the pursuit and sinking of the german battleship bismarck He also participated in the invasion of Normandy on D-Day, commanding a landing ship that fired salvos of rockets onto the beaches, and was in action at Olcheren, in which 23 out of 24 assault craft were sunk. In 1985, Golding and his wife moved to Tullymore House at Perinorthu near Truro, Cornwall. He died of heart failure eight years later, on 19 June 1993. His body was buried in the parish churchyard of Bowerchuck, Ulshire, near the Hampshire and Dorset country border. On his death, he left the draft of of a novel, The Double Tongue, set in ancient Delphi, which was published posthumously in 1995. William Golding. His birthplace. William Golding was born in his maternal grandmother's house, 47 Mount Wise, New Quay, Cornwall. The house was known as Carringer, the Cornish language word for love. And he spent many childhood holidays there. He grew up in Marlborough, Wiltshire, where his father Alec Golding was a science master at Marlborough Grammar School from 1905 to retirement. The school the young Golding and his elder brother Joseph attended. His mother Mildred Kearney kept house at 29 The Green, Marlborough, and was a campaigner for female suffrage. Golding's mother, who was a Cornish and whom he considered a superstitious Celt, used to tell him old Cornish fairy tales from her own childhood. In 1930, Golding went to Brasenose College, Oxford, where he read natural sciences for two years before transferring to English literature. 
His original tutor was the chemist Thomas Tyler. Golding took his BA degree with second class honors in the summer of 1934. And later that year, a book of his poems was published by Macmillan and Combe. With the help of his Oxford friend, the anthroposophist Adam Bittlestone, he was a schoolmaster teaching English and music at Maidstone Grammar School from 1938 to 1940, and then teaching philosophy and English in 1939, then just English from 1945 to 1962 at Bishop Wordsworth School, Salisbury, Wiltshire. John Kerry, the Emeritus Professor of English Literature at Oxford University, was given access to a personal journal kept by Golding in order to write his biography. In which Golding describes trying to set up his students against each other during his teaching years, which gave him inspiration for his first novel. Now, we are going to see some of his literary works. He has composed poetry, drama, novels, non fiction. Here you see the po poetry, uh, the name of the book is Poems, published 1935, drama, The Brass Butterfly, published 1958. The novels are Lord of the Flies, published 1954, The Inheritors, 1955, Pincher Martin, 1956, Free Fall, 1959, The Spire, 1964, The Pyramid, 1967, The Scorpion Girl, 1971, Darkness Visible, 1979, The Paper Man, 1984, To the Ends of the Earth Trilogy, there are those are Rites of Passes. 1980, Close Quarters, 1987, Fire Don Villa, 1989. The Double Tongue, Posthumous Publication, 1995. Non fictions are The Hot Gates, 1965, A Moving Target, 1982, and An Egyptian Journal, 1985. <clears throat> now we are going to uh, discuss the text, the novel, which is in your Clevers, Lord of the Flies, <coughs> composed by William Golding. Here you see the background picture. Here you see the scenery of the island, the Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies is basically a symbolic novel, allegorical novel. Here you see the picture of the uh, boys whose plane was crushed in this island and some of them become savages and some wants to make the make them civilized here you see the description of the island the signal fire is the top of the island and the nether side or the bottom side of this island you see that the castle rock and other part of the island is in the Pacific Ocean. Here another picture of the island. Here you see the fire, the be the beast who is they uh, thought that there is a beast there, but there is no beast there. Forest fire, mountain, lot of the flies, jungle. There are many jungle and fruit trees. Lagoon, beach, castle rock. Here you see that a boy is holding a conch. Conch shell. Conch shell symbolizes wisdom. Conch shell symbolizes order, law. <coughs> Here you see the famous two characters, Ralph and his lieutenant, and his attendants are associate. Assistant is Piggy. He is robust and he uses glass. His glass is used in this novel to set fire by using magnifying glass by focusing the sun. <coughs> Here you see the crushed plane and they are searching some necessary things which they may use to stay in this uninhabited island.
<coughs> as there are lots of fruits in this island and this can meet up their hungry but some of the boys who become savages by snaring by painting them as a savage people by by black color and they are preparing to kill wild animals like pigs they are preparing to kill animals they become savages here you see that they have killed a pig and they have beheaded a pig and they have put the uh, uh, beheaded head of the pig on a stick and they are enjoying that scene they become savages by enjoying and they are uh, dancing and singing like the savage people like the aboriginal people of the ancient time they are roasting the pig and they are enjoying they are gossiping they are making fun with each other how in uh, everybody is away from that beheaded uh, head of the pig on the stick simon came in the middle of that area of that and he confronted that head and there he uh, hallucin feels hallucination and he sees that the lord of the flies is there the lord of the flies signifies sat satanic activities devilish activities in this novel here you see this boy is the protagonist of the novel lord of the flies he is ralph he is the protagonist of the novel ralph he is 12 years old english boy who is elected leader of the group of the boys maroon on the island ralph attempts to coordinate the boys for to build a miniature civilization on the island until they can be rescued ralph represents human beings civilizing instinct as opposed to the savage instinct that jack embodies behind uh, the scene we see that a boy is sitting there and he wears goggles he is piggy piggy is ralph's lieutenant a quaintly intellectual boy piggy's inventiveness frequent leads to innovation such as the makeshift sundial that the boys used to tell time piggy represents the scientific rational side of civilization here you see that there is a clash among between savages and the civilized group here you see that the savages the savage group jack roger have stolen the glasses of glasses of spectacles of piggy and they denied that they did not take the glass of piggy and when ralph went to the castle rock where the uncivilized group stay to return piggy's glass they were fighting and they are not uh, going to return the glass and when they are quarreling they are fighting on the rock on the hill roger is trying to push a boulder big boulder so that this boulder may hit piggy and roger success and piggy's face is hit by that big boulder and piggy dies on the spot and after that after seeing this ralph 
escape from the spot and after that the uncivilized group Roger Jack were searching to murder Ralph and they escape from the scene and he escapes from the scene to catch Ralph Ralph they set fire in the forest and the total forest is burning and making fog making smoke can you see that to save himself Ralph is trying to escape himself from the Arjun we see that later we see that Ralph went to the beach and the naval officers uh, after seeing the smoke the fire they came to uh, rescue them they landed on the beach and uh, Ralph describes everything happened in this island and how many murders happened in this island this novel is totally allegorical or symbolic the con shell symbolizes law order and power the fire symbolizes rescue and destruction pig's glass symbolizes advancements innovation or discovery and red hair symbolizes savagery brutality departure from civilization these are the terms are used in this novel and some of the major themes of this novel is primitivity civilization innocence rules and order fear power identity religion wisdom and knowledge and here and if we go through the setting of the novel lord of flies takes place <coughs> on an unnamed uninhabited tropical island in the pacific ocean during a fictional world world wide war around the year 1950 the boys Uh, the boys arrived on the island when an aeroplane that was presumably evacuating them crashes. From the moment of their arrival, the boys begin destroying the natural harmony of the island. The scorched land where the airplane crashed, ripping up trees, is described as a scar. The boys set a fire that burns out of control, kill the wild pigs living on the island. use the beast as a bathroom and finally burn the entire island so that is scorched up like dead wood although the boys initially rejoice at the adventures they they will have on the island saying it is wither the island itself is described as an inhospitable terrain as the, the land is attempting to reject its new inhabitants the coconuts are skull like the sun's rays are invisible arrows the sound of the trees rubbing against each other is evil the natural world is violent and impartial to the civility and order of human life as evidenced when the tide reclaims the brutalized bodies of simon and peggy so uh hope that you will uh, enjoy this class and in my next class i will discuss chapter wise the novel until then allah hafiz